click Create Form, and we are going to start from scratch with a classic form. You can enter in the title of your form here. In the properties, we can center the text. And now we can drag our first element, which will be the date picker. In this element's properties, we are going to mark this as required. For options, we are going to set the default date to current. And then in advanced, we are going to make this read only. Next, we'll do a full name element. And again, mark this required. And then an address element. Now I'm going to head into a template agreement that I have, and I am going to grab the first paragraph here and copy this. And then back in drop form, I'm going to pick a paragraph element and I'm going to click into here and paste what I just copied. And I am going to change this investor name by clicking on form fields and selecting the investor legal first and last name question. So this essentially will act like a merge field. And then I'm going to highlight this investor business address here and replace this with the address question. And then I'll quickly update this to be my company name. and then replace effective date with the effective date element. Now I'm going to do a number element, which is going to ask how many shares an investor wants to subscribe to. And then hopping back into my template, I'm going to highlight and copy the second paragraph and paste it in here. Updating this number field to be number of shares. Then we'll do a single choice question asking for U.S. tax purposes, please indicate the U.S. tax status of the investor. And then again, hopping into the template, I'm going to copy 
this part and paste it in here. This time highlighting the tax status and replacing this with the tax question. And then we'll do one more paragraph and then copy the rest of this generic language and paste it in here. And now we want a signature. They have a signature element, but you can also use signature widgets. I'm going to use DocuSign. I'm going to authenticate my DocuSign account. The document title will be Acme subscription. And we will auto submit the form. And we are going to go into the PDF editor to map this all to a document. And now we can edit and customize how the document looks. So you can either leave your questions in or you can map them into just paragraphs. And so now that this is all set up, you can preview it. And you can play around by adding some dummy data if you want. So now going back in the job form, if we update our widget and then click back into it, You'll now see that there's a drop down available for PDF template, and we can assign this form to that PDF. So we'll update this again. And now under settings, we can go to emails and we can edit the notification. You can customize your email notification that someone receives after they filled this in. And under advanced, you can toggle on the PDF attachment. And hit save. And under integrations, if you want to sync this to deliver your document to something like Dropbox, you can connect that here. If you go to this drop down up here, you can select tables and this is where your submissions will go. So let's go back to our form builder. And let's preview it. We'll open a new form and fill it out. And you'll notice that this starts updating as I fill it out. And then at the very bottom, I can sign this via DocuSign. In the perks of using something like DocuSign versus just a e-signature block is that DocuSign allows you to certify the signature. sign and it should open up a DocuSign pop-up. And 
now in my inbox, I have an email notification with a signed document. So this is one way that you can streamline the form to contract workflow using JotForm and DocuSign. If you have any questions, reach out. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.